Hi, welcome to my channel where I very honestly express myself, how I feel about parenting, my relationship, my life in general, and then everything that comes with it. Um, I am going to express today a few things that make me a better mom. Um, parenting is tough. And not only do you need to find a good support system between friends, family, um, community around you to help you be the best mother that you can be, but it also involves becoming the best version of yourself that you can. And when you don't put that work in to becoming a better version of yourself, it affects the way you parent or at least it affects the way I parent and I can tell when I'm not taking care of myself because I am agitated I choose to shut my kids down instead of listening to them I am not as patient and I don't feel like doing things with my children um, it takes a lot of energy to parent so these are a few things that help me be the best mom that I can be. The first thing, waking up before my children wake up in the mornings. This one's a big one for me. Um, I find when I when we wake up at the same time, I'm really annoyed. First of all, I'm not a morning person. I don't like to wake up before 7 a.m. Actually, before I had kids, I didn't like to wake up before like 11 a.m., but it's gotten a lot earlier. Um, so, you know, when I'm opening my eyes, if I have a child right next to me who's like, hey, mom, I'm really hungry. Can you go make me some breakfast? I'm like, yo, I haven't even woken up yet. Give me a second. Um, that's not a good way to start my morning, especially because I'm a little slow in the mornings. You know, I like to take my time using the restroom. I like to brush my teeth, wash my face, get dressed. Most of the time I don't do that, but I like to, you know, get dressed, have my morning drink, whether that be a juice or a coffee or a tea. I want to take my time. I want to step outside and look at the sky. Yes, that's how I like to spend my mornings. So for five years, I woke up at the same time as my kids did. And it was like, mommy, or hey, I pooped. Can you come clean my butt? And you know, it's it hasn't been the most pleasant experience. Um, my kids, I chose to send my kids to school. I did try homeschooling. I'll make another video as to why it didn't work out for me. But I sent my daughter to public school and my son is in a VPK program. So we have to wake up early in the mornings. And I try to wake up an hour to an hour and a half before them. So that way I can take my time. I can make them breakfast. I can make my daughter a nice lunch. I can drink my drink, go outside, get dressed, all those things. Yes. I am a better person for it. And I should have done this a long time ago, but I didn't. Uh, and now I'm forced because they go to school, but it's the best thing. So on weekends when they don't have school, I still try and wake up before them because I do not want someone asking me to make them breakfast when I haven't even opened my eyes yet. So that's one thing. Number two, going to the gym, okay? Or moving my body, but mainly going to the gym. I have tried working out at home before with my kids. It hasn't worked out for me. I'm in a downward facing dog or in a cat and cow doing yoga. And then I have my son, you know, hopping on my back and he's like, come on horsey. And that's just not my ideal way of working out. I can't get into it like that. I don't take myself seriously and I quit really quick. So I told myself when the kids start school and it's not me procrastinating, it's just setting, you know, a time for it when I'm finally ready to do it, when the kids start school, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm gonna join the gym and I'm gonna go to the gym every single day they go to school. So Monday through Friday, I go to the gym. Some days I obviously can't because I have to do other things, but my son is in VPK for three hours in the morning. I go straight to the gym after I drop my daughter and I spend about an hour and a half at the gym. And it's the best thing that I've done for myself. Even if I don't go ham at the gym, whatever that means, you know? Um, I try and be very intentional when I'm moving my body and breathing. 
it calms my mind it makes me happier i'm surrounded by a bunch of people that are you know moving their body and energizing themselves as well gives me energy um i'm a big binge eater because i have anxiety and i'm always like worried about things i'm also very ocd i like things to be a certain way so moving my body and going to the gym really brings me down a notch you know like usually i have to have my house spick and span everything where it goes and you know what i feel good my kids it's more important for me to spend time with my kids than it is for me to have like a super spotless house and I didn't think that way before, but since I've spent more time with myself and moving my body and breathing more, bringing more oxygen in, and, you know, just thinking less, I'm just decreasing anxiety and all those feelings. And I'm just taking it day by day. I'm chilling. So going to the gym is important for me. And the days that the kids don't have school, I bring them with me. And I, they have a great childcare program there. And uh, yeah, just drop them off. They're usually excited to go with me anyways. Um, but yeah, that's a big one for me. Another thing that helps me to be a more present mom is meal prepping. When I meal prep for at least two days, I'm spending less time in the kitchen and more time with my kids. Um, it bothers me when I'm cooking and my kids start pulling up chairs to the counter and start grabbing knives and they're like, hey mom, can I cook with you? And even though, you know, we do it, we do it a lot. There's some days where I'm just kind of tired and I just want to make this meal and I want to make it, you know, healthy and nutritional and there's a lot that goes into our meals and I don't want to spend two hours doing it. I also don't want to watch a little kid try not to cut or peel his finger, you know, so there's days where I just want to be left alone in the kitchen. So those so after the gym, sometimes um, before I grab my son, I'll spend an hour making food for that day. Um, that way when the kids are home, I'm not cooking. Um, there's days where my kids are more entertained with themselves than others. Those days I take advantage and I try and make food for the next two days. I'll make boiled eggs where we can just keep them in the fridge or, you know, pancakes, um, for the next couple days. And then I love making soups, stews, rice, um, salad preps, all that. But I keep the, pr the fridge pretty stocked. So I'm not spending too much time in the kitchen. Um, not drinking too much caffeine. That's a big one for me. It, it's important to be grounded on a daily basis because my kids especially, they're always fighting. They're always having like disputes. And if I'm not good, if I'm not like patient, feeling too patient that day, or if I'm feeling agitated, I'm gonna snap at them like, yo, shh. You know, and I'm gonna shut them up instead of trying to figure out what's going on and find a solution because they're gonna go through those things in their life. And if I'm not giving them ways to handle those situations, then we have adults who, you know, don't know how to speak to other adults and it becomes a problem so for me to be less agitated i can't drink too much caffeine um i've noticed i can only handle one cup of caffeine in the morning if i'm drinking any more than that throughout the day which i have sometimes because around two three o'clock in the afternoon i'm like man i'm, I'm tired so i'll kind of you know take back a, a matcha or um don't judge me for this one. Sometimes, you know, I'll drink a Celsius to really hype up, but then I find myself with anxiety because now I'm super hype. My kids are not really at that like super level. And then I don't have the pat enough patience to deal with their arguments. So I'm like just screaming all over the place. My kids don't understand what's going on with me. And then once my high comes down and I'm like breathing it out, trying to eat, drink water to you know, get some of that energy out of me, do some jumping jacks. I have to apologize to my children. I'm like, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't, um, you know, I wasn't understanding what you were going through. I'm sorry that I screamed at you. I'm always apologizing. Um, but I see that I can't have too much caffeine because I get too agitated and that does not make me a good mom. So that's another thing. Also eating healthy. Um, I, we try not to eat out too much as a family. I notice that when I eat too much food outside in restaurants 
um, or if I'm binge eating, like eating more than I should be, then I get really tired. And if I'm tired, I don't have enough energy to keep up with my kids. A lot of the times they wanna play with me, um, they wanna jump outside on the trampoline with me, and I just don't wanna do those things because I'm like exhausted. I just wanna sit down and watch you play or, you know? So I try to eat clean. Um, I have a binging situation because like I said, I have anxiety and one way that I deal with it is overeating. Um, and in order to control that, I just got to eat clean so I can overeat, but overeat the good stuff. Um, but yeah, those are things that help me to become a better parent. Um, giving some things that are just like a no, no for us. Too much screen time for my kids. It's a no. Um, when, when they were smaller, we let them watch a lot of TV just because I was going crazy, you know, I was learning a lot of things about being a new mom. Um, I also didn't have enough patience to deal with the crying and the screaming. And, you know, I was just craving for that time to myself that I have now. And, um, yeah, now that they're older, I realize when they watch too much TV and then I finally turn it off and I'm like, all right, guys, it's time to play. They're not in that like creative mode. I mean, they've been zombied out just like you and I, right? When we watch or scroll through social media, we're not as motivated to do anything after that, you know? So limiting their screen time helps me out. Um, they fight a lot less when we do that. Um, and yeah, they just have better attitudes, which helps me not to punch them. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't punch them, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think anything else that helps me to be a better parent. That's it. When I implement all these things into my routine, um, I listen better. I feel energized. I play more with my kids. I'm a better wife. It's like everything just gets better, you know? So I try and stick to those things. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. Remember, these are my personal experiences based on, you know, how my life is set up. And, um, you know, not everybody has the same privileges. Um, and I totally get that. So keep in mind, this is my experience. You have your own experience. And if you're going to become a parent or you're already a parent, I hope that you find things that make you a better parent and you stick to them. Okay. But yeah, you guys have a great day.